Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Asha and Noah Show! My name's Asha. My name's Noah. Well, welcome to the Asha and Noah Show. versus Noah. That's right, each week over the next couple of weeks we're going to be challenging Asha against Noah. So you need to pick who you think is going to win. Is it going to be Asha? Is it going to be Noah? We have no idea, but now is the time for you to just have a think. Do you think Asha's going to win them? Do you think Noah's going to win them? I mean, I have no idea, but it's time for our first game, and our first game is Cookie Fix. Okay, so the rules are as follows. Asha and Noah are going to get a cookie. It will be put on their face like this. Wiggle in their face like this. They have to get the cookie from their head to their mouth. Whoever does it the fastest or who is just genuinely better at it will be the winner. Three, two, one, let's go. Three, two, one, go. Okay, uh, I'm going to put the The winner of Cookie Face is, well first off, before I tell you the winner, you should know that one of you was disqualified for cheating. Someone, someone didn't follow the rules and used their hands to eat the cookie. The winner of Cookie Face is... I didn't cheat, did I? I mean, you should get No. Do we cheat? No, we cheat. I told you I'll cheat. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh. Hello, Hero Factory. My name is Nathan. I am on the worship team here at Influence Church. You've probably seen me playing the bass on the TV a couple of times. Now, it's when it's coming to worship at Hero Factory, it is really good and you get more from it if you get stuck in. So at Hero Factory, I really encourage you now to dance, sing, sing your hearts out and have a good time. Let's, let's worship. Savior. Have you heard of his perfect love? Have you heard of the one in heaven? Have you heard how he gave his son? Cause I have found this love. I believe in the sun. Show me your way. Jesus, you're my best way. You will always be. Nothing will ever I believe he's the risen one I believe that I'll live forever I believe that my king will come Cause I have found this love I believe in the sun Show me your way Jesus, you are my best friend
best friend And you will always be And I say, well, I have to change that You will always be Forever you and me God. Now we've been talking about prayer and why prayer is so incredible but sometimes we don't know how to pray or where do we even start. So last week we learned all about the Skittles prayer and today we are going to be creating a prayer jar. That's right for today's activity you are going to need a jar or a tub or a bowl anything that you can just store stuff inside and also you are going to need some paper and a pen. I got myself some cute colourful post-it notes and I got myself a jar from the pound shop. So you can probably find these things around your house. I mean don't just go and take stuff without telling your mum and dad because they may start to worry but I'm sure you can find yourself some pens and paper from around your house and a bowl or a box. Maybe even a shoe box. Anyway this is what you're going to need. So what's going to happen is sometimes we just don't know what to pray for. We can find ourselves in a place where we're a bit like, oh well, I just don't know. I've got nothing to pray for. Now there's always things to praise God for. We can either pray or praise. There's always loads of things we can pray for. So the idea is just we're going to fill this jar up with tons of things that we can pray for. Now it could be anything. It could be I'm going to pray for my mom. Pop it in the jar. It could be I'm going to pray for church. Fold it up. Pop it in the jar. I'm going to pray for those who are sick. Fold it up. Pop it in the jar. And the idea is, is we're just going to keep writing, keep folding, and keep filling up the jar. Okay, let's keep this up. The idea is, is that you have this jar or box or bowl, whatever it is, and you have it by your bed and you know that you need to pray. So whenever you have a minute, you go to the jar, open it up, pick something out and see what it says. So this one says family. So we want you to take a couple of minutes to pray for your family. It could be pray for your mum and dad, it could be pray for your sister, maybe your grand's not very well, maybe you have somebody in your family who you know is a bit sad, maybe you could pray for them. And once you finish praying for them, you can put it back in. You can then pray for something else or close the jar and open it another time. Morning here in Factory, it's me again. I hope you're all well and are enjoying being back at school. There have been lots of times that I have prayed, prayed and for lots of reasons, but I wanted to tell you about a couple of times when I really needed God's help and how praying really helped me during this time. When I was a little girl and went to school, some children were really nasty to me. I was bullied. It made me very sad and I cried every day. But I've always been to church and my mum and my dad, along with my children's pastor, prayed a lot with me. And even though the bullies were still at school and, and were still nasty to me, I knew I had the best friend ever with me all day, every day, and that I could talk to him at any time. 
and in any situation, I had Jesus in my heart. Even if I was just praying in my head and not out loud, Jesus would know what I was thinking. He protected me from the bullies, and Jesus helped me too by giving me people that I could talk to, that could help me when I was feeling really scared and worried, especially on the days when I didn't want to get up, get up and go to school. They would pray with me, and I would feel better. So here in fact, if ever you are worried or scared about anything, Jesus is always there to listen, and we can pray to him. But also remember you have lots of grown-ups that love you, and we'll pray with you too if ever you need it to. You only have to ask. Hero Factory, happy Sunday. It's me, it's Lauren. I'm back, and boy, do I have a big question for you guys today. The question is this Why do we pray? Why do we pray, Hero Factory? Well, prayer is so powerful, okay? Prayer is how we talk to God. Could you imagine having a best friend that you just never talk to? Well, that would be strange, right? Well, it's the same with God, Hero Factory. When we pray, our relationship with God grows. It gets stronger. We can talk to God just like he is our best friend. Now, in the Bible, in James chapter 4, verse 8, it says this, Come near to God and he will come near to you. This means that in order to know God better, you have to talk to him, Hero Factory. The more we pray, then the more we trust God. We realise that he listens to us and that he cares about what we have to say. Now close your eyes, Hero Factory. And with your eyes closed, just say hello to God today. Tell him about your day. Tell him the good bits and the bad bits. If you need help, ask him for help. If you're happy, then thank him. Now open your eyes, Hero Factory. It's that easy, Hero Factory. Everyone can pray. God doesn't care about fancy words. There isn't a trophy for the best prayer. God simply wants to hear from you. He wants you to come near to him. He wants you to let him into your life. He cares about each and every one of you. And he hears all your prayers, all the time, any place, any day. So Hero Factory, I want to encourage you to pray to God this week, to talk to him like he's your friend, because he is Hero Factory. When we pray, we get closer to God. So make it a priority in your life this week. Should we pray, Hero Factory? Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for loving us and hearing us when we pray. Help us to learn to talk to you every day, in every situation. Thank you for answering our prayers and helping us to work through hard moments in our life, Lord. We love you, we praise you for all you've done, and we are grateful, Lord. Amen. Hero Factory, enjoy the rest of Kids Church. I've loved being here, as usual, and I will see you all soon. Goodbye. Ladies, Ladies and, gentlemen, and gentlemen, boys, boys and, girls, and girls, welcome, welcome to, to the Asha and Noah, Noah Show! Uh, that's the Kids Church. Is it? Yeah. Okay, is the under one, is it? It's the under one. Can I think so? Um, we'll come back here next week. Sounds good. Are we going to be here? Yeah, will you be here? Well, I probably will be. Alright, All right, we'll see. say bye then. Bye! See ya! <laughs> <laughs>